Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now in today's episode, we have a brand new card from the Bank of America camp, the Unlimited Cash Rewards. That's right, we don't really talk about Bank of America much, but I guess they've been tired of sitting on the sidelines letting Chase, Amex, and City have all the fun. So today's episode, we're going to do our full overview of the Unlimited Cash Rewards. We're going to talk about the sign-up bonus as well as the product change offer going around because it is interesting and something to consider. We'll cover the full card, the benefits. We'll talk about Bank of America preferred rewards system because that is going to play a huge part into how this card works. Then we'll close with a few use cases and strategies you might want to consider, especially for those in the Bank of America system, to help figure out who this card is for. So if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button, let's get to work. So first up, let's jump right into it and take a look at this brand new card. So here we have the Unlimited Cash Rewards card. You can see the card art right there down below. Overall, this fits into the Bank of America catalog aesthetic that they've been going for some of their refreshes. It's clean and uniform, which I'm a big fan of personally, but that's not why you're here. The annual fee here is going to be $0, and your multipliers here are going to be 1.5x back on all purchases. Now, I know, I know, guys, you're pretty pumped about another 1.5x card earning cash back, but please save your applause to the end because we have a little more to work through before we close this one out. So while we're here, let's take a look at the sign-up bonuses and that product change offer at the same time. So first of all, if you were to sign up as a brand new applicant, you can expect to earn $200 cash back with $1,000 in spend in the first three months. Additionally, there is a 0% APR for the first 15 months for purchases. Now, on the other hand, if you are an existing Bank of America customer, you have multiple Bank of America credit cards, I should say, the Bank of America has been sending out targeted offers to some of those customers offering a product change from a specific B of A card into the unlimited cash rewards. Now, the cool thing here is if you take the product change offer, you are still going to get a $200 sign-up bonus with that $1,000 in spend. And it's not going to cost you a hard pull on your credit. It's literally just going to take one account and change it into this card. Now, now the cards that have been targeted have varied. I've seen mostly folks talking about the 321s so or the cash rewards card being targeted, but there are comments and data points out there if you have the travel rewards, that being targeted as well, and even some of the premium rewards cards as well. So I don't know what's going on or how Bank of America is coming up with the criteria. I would guess it's just based on folks who have a lot of cards or who haven't used a set card in quite a while. Bank of America trying to get that card back into the rotation. But either way, the product change offer is very good and very interesting because again, you don't normally see this. So if you're our existing customer and you're trying to consider, do I take the product change offer if I've got one, or do I sign up like normal through a new application? Well, I'll quickly put the Bank of America credit card application rules on screen just in case you're wondering how this might work and which one you might best go for. So we can see here application rules for Bank of America. They have what they call a two, three, four. So two Bank of America cards allowed per rolling two months, three cards allowed per rolling 12, and four per rolling 24. Additionally, as Bank of America is really kind of a relationship bank, if you have a deposit account with B of A, your credit card application will be denied. If you have seven new cards from any issuer in the past 12 months, if you do not have a deposit account with Bank of America, your credit card application will be denied. If you have three new cards from any issuer in the past 12 months. And so there you have it. Those are the application rules if you're on the fence between taking that targeted offer or signing up like normal. Now, as this is a cashback card, it has cashback in the name, so you might have guessed that already. But you can redeem for a statement credit. You can redeem out to a Bank of America checking or savings account, or you can transfer it to your Merrill Lynch investment account if you want. Okay, so now that we've calmed down from the excitement of a brand new 1.5x card on the market, I did say that jokingly a little bit. Because yes, 1.5x isn't that awesome on the surface. Again, the active cash card from Wells Fargo came out at 2x. So how could Bank of America do this? They're not even beating the classic double cash. Well, for Bank of America, their ecosystem works based on the preferred reward system. And we don't really talk Bank of America that much, so I am going to spend a little bit of time refreshing you on the preferred reward system if you're unfamiliar with it. So let's take a look at how that works and then we'll talk about how that plays a part into this card. So there are three tiers in the Preferred Rewards program, Gold, Platinum, and Platinum Honors. So your tier is going to be based on your qualifying combined balances in your Bank of America deposit and or Merrill Lynch investment accounts. So once you hit a Preferred Rewards status, you'll keep your program benefits for at least a full year. And in addition to that, your balances are reviewed monthly to see if you qualify to move up to the next tier. So what does all that mean besides being another cool platinum status to have. Well, Preferred Rewards has an effect, a multiplier bonus effect on all of Bank of America's products. However, we're mostly interested in the credit cards. So let's take a look at how the different statuses affect those. 
So gold tier starts at $20,000 and it's going to give you a 25% boost. Platinum tier starts at $50,000 it's going to give you a 50% boost. And platinum honors tier starts at $100K and it's going to give you a 75% boost. So you can see with those preferred tiers in effect, the unlimited cash back card goes from 1.5 up to 2.62 back. And it should be no surprise that's what Bank of America is actually pushing in all the marketing and advertising. So if you were platinum monitors and you can see now it does beat out the double cash, it beats out the active cash, it beats out even the Chase Freedom Unlimited going through the travel portal. So that does make it a little bit more competitive. And obviously this card is designed like all Bank of America's cards to get you to take a look at their ecosystem and their preferred tiers tiers because they obviously Bank of America strategies, hey, give me more of your money and I will give you more benefits, which isn't really a bad strategy considering they are a relationship bank. Now, in addition to that, the unlimited cash rewards actually does fill a gap in the lineup, or actually I should say it solves a problem with the Bank of America lineup. So if you are familiar with Bank of America cards and you're looking at it and you're like, hey, isn't this familiar to the travel card they have? Yes, the blue travel card gives you 1.5x on all purchases, except that it's giving you 1.5x miles, which means you can only redeem those miles earned on the travel card towards travel purchases made on the card. So tickets, cabs, rentals, bag check, things like that. However, when it comes to Bank of America cards, you don't really think about travel. You really think about the cash back. So so on the other hand of the aisle, you have the premium rewards card, which people also carry because that is giving you a 1.5x back on all purchases. However, it comes in at a $95 annual fee. Now there is another multiplier, and then there's a $100 travel credit in there as well. So it does offset that $95 annual fee. But still, there are a lot of folks out there who carry the premium rewards who were excited about this card because now they can hopefully product change the premium rewards to this or just drop the premium rewards altogether, not worry about the annual fee or that statement credit. And they're still going to have a catch-all card, ideally at that 2.62. Again, people who are that invested in Bank of America, I'm going to guess they're in some type of preferred rewards tier with them. So for those people, that does solve a specific use case and a specific issue with the Bank of America set. That up. So overall, final thought on the Unlimited Cash Rewards card. For Bank of America, I think this is actually a pretty good option, again, given the use case we just ran through, because this does solve a problem in their lineup. So, so if you're into the Bank of America preferred reward system, I'd say either the second tier or the Platinum Honors tier at least, then this card in the Bank of America system as a whole could be pretty interesting for you. Now for anyone else who's not considering a move to Bank of America or not in the system, if you're just gold tier perhaps, then I'd probably look elsewhere the double cash card Card, active cash card from Wells Fargo even you know the Chase Freedom Unlimited is always a classic one there you can get a better card elsewhere if again if you're not going to commit and join the preferred rewards tier system so anyways guys if you like this one drop me a thumbs up down below if you found it particularly interesting consider subscribing to the channel posting content just like this every Monday Wednesday and Friday of course with that Sunday recap episode that is all the news you can use in the week that was of credit and finance my question of you guys is let me know what you think about the unlimited cash rewards card are you in the preferred on rewards tier program are you considering doing this is this something that would push you over into it love to get your thoughts on that anyways guys that's gonna do it for this one as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one